Thank you. Good afternoon. So Ecovative was founded in 2007 and has been a successful R&D partner to some of the biggest brands in the world. We use mycelium, the root structure of mushrooms, to grow materials. And with our technology, we've created the holy grail of meat. And that's a bold statement, so let me explain. Oops. It's been fascinating to see the innovation and consumer excitement happening around plant-based meats. And while the focus has been on ground meats, we see an opportunity to apply our technology to create whole cut products. And the difference between ground and whole cut products is structure. And the importance of this is when you look at the USDA annual beef report from 2018, you see there was almost $80 billion of beef sold in the US last year. 88% of the beef sold were whole cuts, and this accounts for $64 billion, or 81% of the total value of the US beef market. And the seafood market follows a similar pattern. In, in um, 80% of the total seafood sold in the US in 2017 were whole cuts. So these data indicate a significant need to create whole cut products if we're gonna meaningfully shift consumers away from traditional meat consumption. But in order to deliver plant-based and cell-based whole cuts of meat to the dinner table, structure is needed. And mushrooms are one possibility for structure. They're already sought after as a whole cut alternative. They're a natural, edible, food safe ingredient that can be infused with fats and flavors. And as you can see from these images here, some mushroom varieties have strikingly similar characteristics to the meats they're so aptly named after. And not just in the way that they look, but in the way that they taste and their texture as well. So mushrooms are an ideal ingredient for structure, except for a few things, and these are the challenges. So existing mushroom cultivation techniques result in a mushroom geometry, and this isn't ideal if you're trying to create a steak and it looks like a mushroom. And also, many of, this, many of the strains that I showed on the previous slide are only available in the wild, so you have to go out and forage for these, which isn't commercially scalable. And finally, a lot of these mushrooms also have long growth cycles, anywhere from eight to 12 weeks, which isn't ideal for industrialization. So overcoming these three challenges is where we focused Ecovative's technology, and I'm excited to say that in a cost-efficient and scalable way, we've created the holy grail of meat, which is structure. So I'd like to introduce you to our newest platform focused on food called Atlas. And with Atlas, we're able to grow gourmet sheets of mycelium from these meat-like mushroom tissues that we find in nature. And the easiest way to describe this is that we've created programmable mushrooms. We can grow these meat-like mushroom tissues in gourmet sheets with various texture and, and, and structural combinations at commercial scale in just nine days. So in the next couple slides, I'll show you some of the first applications of our mycelium-based scaffolding. So in cell agriculture, we've shown that our mycelium scaffold is biocompatible across a broad range of species. Shown here are fibroblasts from bovine, avian, and salmon growing onto and into the mycelium scaffold. And for a plant-based meat proof of concept, we've infused fats and flavors into thin strips of mycelium to create a plant-based bacon. And the texture becomes crispy, just like bacon, and the most important part is it tastes great. So I recently asked our chef for a photo of a hero dish that I could share with you here today, and he made me this plant-based chicken sandwich. And I grew up in Alabama, we had Chick-fil-A's everywhere, so for lack of a better term, I call this the chick fil a <laughs> It features uh, a chicken of the woods cutlet as the filet portion, our Atlas bacon, and a vegan cheese. And you can see in the chicken of the woods portion, the fiber alignment. And this is analogous to whole muscle tissue, which provides structure. To align you with Ecovative's business model, we're a technology company with a B2B focus. We tend to partner with leaders in a particular field who have a domain expertise, and we provide technology. We work in both exclusive and non-exclusive scenarios and have a strong IP portfolio. Today, we operate a 35,000 square foot facility in upstate New York, and we're led by our two founders, Eben Baer and Gavin McIntyre, and have a strong executive team. And we're announcing today, right now in fact, that we're spinning out Ecovative's food-based assets into a new company called Atlas Food Co. And we anticipate launching this new company in early 2020, and we're here today seeking strategic and institutional investors for Atlas Food Co., as well as leaders in this space who want to work with us to create what's next in whole cut foods. So 
Um, please feel free to reach out with questions. Come by our booth and say hello. And thank you very much for your attention. Great. Let's hear it for Andy. All right, so to make sure we're clear, because you've given us some news now, uh, very clearly and succinctly contrast Ecovative from Atlas. Correct. So, um, so Ecovative is a technology company. It's a foundry where we have a lot of different applications from protective packaging to actually making vegan leather. Um, and we think it's important to, to dedicate our resources to these individual technologies and applications that are coming out of Ecovative. And so we grow mushrooms really well, but we're not experts in the food industry. And so uh, we're spinning out this new company to build that expertise within Atlas Food. Okay, Group. got it. Uh, let me ask you about seafood. Uh, we hear less about that than we hear about the other sorts of meats uh, so far and at this point in history. Seafood's very delicate. Uh, by, in most forms, it seems that there's less place to hide shortcomings in your process when you try to make seafood. Is that a pretty good read? Well, so we've actually, um, we, we've learned a lot through some mistakes, and um, we've actually gotten some weird looking uh, sheets of mycelium <laughs> that uh, actually grew in almost scalloped layers. And which is kind of akin to what you would see in seafood, where it almost flakes off. Yeah. And so while that was an error for what we were going for, it actually informed something that's potentially a, a, another product that could be focused in seafood. You're also telling me at your booth over in the expo area last night that this same technology can span to a thin strip of bacon, or a, you know, a steak cut, a piece of fish that's a little thinner, a piece of bacon even thinner, or a leather belt. How close are those? How akin are those teachers? Not that that's a go-to-market strategy for consumers, right. but how much of that uh, is really part of a continuum, or is there more of a reach to make those all akin? Well, so the, the, the unique base of that is the mycelium, and then where it differs is the strain that we use to make the product. So for food, we're using edible strains, um, which have, in some cases, chicken flavor or the texture of chicken, whereas for our leather applications, we're using a much more, a much tougher mushroom variety. I've been to some avant-garde restaurants in San Francisco. They're serving those in salads, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm still chewing one of those. Um, so there are mushrooms that really are not so edible, but are really workable. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So we, we started our business in 2007 in protective packaging. And so our idea was we wanted to obviate the need for styrofoam. And we were able to, uh, this was a composite, this is a composite part where we grow mycelium around agricultural waste. And rather than have the styrofoam corners on a TV box that you might get, mm -hmm. we can actually grow those. And you pitch them in your garden when you're done, they're gone in 30 days, back into the earth. All right, who knew? Mycelium, so many things going on here. And please uh, say thank you to Andy Bass from Ecovative. And now, Thank Atlas. you. Okay. Thank you. We started off with one company and he walks off with two. That's pretty good.